Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. You know, I started recording your reading. Luckily, I only got this far, but the mute button <laughs> was on, so I had to start over. So welcome back. This is going to be your weekend reading, June 28th through July 1st. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you would like to support the channel, um, if you enjoy my readings. Also, uh, if you want to become a member of my channel, you can support me that way, $2.99 per month. You get some cool little perks with that. And um, also, as you know, you get a text message reading, personal reading with me. All the links, everything you need, description box below. All right, so yeah, you got a twin flame showing up here this weekend, Virgo. Okay, I don't know if they're actually physically showing up, but they are gonna be significant over this weekend. This is the yin to your yang, the peanut butter to your jelly, the ice in your soda. <laughs> I mean, this is just, this is your person, okay? There's, they're just going to be showing up here. Let's take a look and see why they're going to be significant. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Wands. Oh, Four of Cups. Hmm, there's something shifting and changing within this person. Okay. Uh, let me see. One more card, please. One more card. There's a change happening with this person. With this twin flame. Oh, jeez. Alright, this person is... Um, Oh, okay. Uh, so it could be a fire sign for some of you, or they have fire in their chart somewhere, but it looks like this person is okay. Hold on a second. Now, why are they giving me Pokemon? They're just telling, they're giving me Pokemon. What the heck? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why they're giving me this Pokemon. <laughs> I don't even get that. Like, I'm not a Pokemon person. I don't do anything with that. Never did. Never have. Never will. Don't know anything about it. They just keep telling me that. Okay. So. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Now they're saying your twin flame is looking at you right now. Virgo, your twin. They're looking at you right now. Whatever their sign, doesn't matter. Um, and there's a jealousy. Oh, okay, that's interesting. There's a je there's like a, it's either jealousy or some kind of territorial thing going on here with this twin flame over the weekend. That is actually okay. This is gonna sound. I don't know if this is toxic or what. I I'm not gonna give you an opinion. I'm just gonna tell you. They're saying your twin, your twin flame is being, how can I say this? Stimulated. <laughs> not, not like, I mean, yeah. Okay. Kind of like turned on by something and it's attached to, they have some kind of jealousy or control or possession or territorial kind of thing, which does sound extremely toxic, right? But it is what it is. So it's something to do with you not choosing them and maybe they and so I don't know if that's if you're doing that or not because I'm kind of looking at this twin flame of yours it's almost as if it kind of turns them on excites them at the thought that you don't that, that you have other options that's what I'm hearing at least they think that I don't, maybe you do, maybe you don't, I don't know, but this energy is very passionate and very physical. Okay. It's almost as if it's like cat and mouse. It feels, they're telling me, I'm looking at this kitty cat here. It's like cat and mouse, this lion energy, this passion, this predatory, uh, the hunt, hunting, the prey, uh, going in for the kill. <laughs> the heck is what am I in like the freaking jungle what the heck's going on it feels there's so the yin yang energy right usually the yin yang it spins it blends you know it's very complimentary and so 
even with the chaser here, there is this runner chaser thing happening here over this weekend. And I feel like your twin is, I mean, the, the heartbreak or they, they've, this, there's some, maybe there's a separation. And yet that separation is exciting them. That's okay, whatever. I don't know who your twin flame is. I don't know what's going on or who this person is. They may not even be your twin. They may feel like your twin, but there's like this coupling between you and another person. Like I said, it could be a fire sign straight up. It could just be a straight up fire sign. But for others, it might just be their it's their energy, whatever their sign is. So there is this looking at you, looking at your options, not looking at them. There's a shift and a change with the wheel of fortune in in this dynamic with you and whoever this person is okay so yeah i feel like because of that i don't know like usually the queen of wands right when we when we're sitting here with a fire sign the thing with the fire sign energy is they're very confident they're very bold they're they're leaders types and they got to be number one right the sun they're, they're like the sun. The world revolves around them. This is the energy of this person. And it's like they're not being the sun in your world. <laughs> You're not revolving around this person. Like I said, with the twin flame and even the wheel just constantly moving. You're not circling. And it's given this person... Uh, like it, it's, it's exciting them what the, I don't even feel comfortable doing this reading <laughs> I don't even feel comfortable doing this reading I don't know what you're doing Virgo you might just be sitting home maybe you're on the beach I don't know what you're doing this weekend but whatever's going on this is this person's all wrapped up in some kind of chase here the chaser energy fear of abandonment fear that you're gonna you're lo they're losing you right chasing after you this weekend for sure look here you go knight of swords page of wands the magician okay manifesting chasing charge coming after you it's gonna be some communication and you know i'm gonna tell you with this page of wands again with the excitement this communication is like this this falls along the lines of what they're they're giving me that i want you <laughs> I need you that kind of thing okay so maybe it's a very just passionate week and I don't know um, but this person they got some growth let me just say that let me just put it to you that way there's some growth okay um, this person has a serious fear of abandonment by you okay even if you've already abandoned them or you haven't abandoned them you could still be talking to this person I don't know what's going on but there is an energy here of you looking at your other options and not committing to this one particular person at least from their point of view or they're questioning and they're wondering now maybe you're like there's an energy of feeling they think you're indifferent to them and that's kind of like i said turning them on so here they are chasing you over this weekend coming after you like like with the speed of lightning here, the speed of light. What's is the speed of lightning a thing? Speed of light. That Knight of Swords energy is like I'm not taking no for an answer. Um, like somebody making a lifestyle change. This Page of Wands even gives me that energy of super excitement, even crush. You know, they gotta talk to you. You might have that Ace of Wands here with all the with all the leaves growing on it. They're looking at that wand. They have it. The page is communication ready to lay it all out on the table and communicate and like the magician of course is mercury ruled so that is all about the communicate messages lots of messages from this chaser perhaps it could be a chaser runner you could be running you might not be i don't know or they think you're running so now they're in the chaser thing so this person is has and it's crazy because the, the, the king or the queen of wands is generally full of pride. But this person is not going to have any pride. Not if they're chasing. Chasing equates to no pride. Okay? And there's, there shouldn't be any pride when it comes to a love relationship, right? But mm, their pride, that ego, 
part of their, their ego is stimulating, but they're going to lose their, lose their pride in order to come after you, right? Which oh, is so interesting. Let me get a clarifying card for the magician. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Victory. Yeah, this person is going to come in and communicate. I'm telling you overcome some kind of conflict they want to be with you they want you they don't want you to go away they don't want you to leave there's a heartbroken thing happening here feeling lost grieving mourning separation deeply hurt sad this person is like not doing good they're not doing too well without you they might say they're fine if you talk to them sure everything's fine but that's a lie don't believe it. Don't believe the hype. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's look at this heartbroken thing here. Why are they so sad? I mean, you know, it's one thing to be like, huh, this person's not talking to me. What's going on? And be curious. But to be heartbroken? Why? Oh, here's King of Swords. King of Swords doesn't generally get heartbroken, but hmm. Huh. Not a single cup. This person is completely, I don't know if they are avoidant. They don't want to show their emotions. They're keeping this a secret. So, so here's what they're, okay, I get you. I hear you. They're heartbroken deep down, but they, instead of expressing their heart or their sadness, they will express it as anger or defensive behavior or be judgmental um, or critical. Uh, no, it's because they're hurt and they don't learn. I don't feel like this is someone who's very good at expressing their hurt and their feelings. They're like, say, oh, I'm sad or I'm really heartbroken. I feel so lost without you. I feel... Look, I just have to tell you, there's no cups on this board at all, except for the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is a lack of emotion. Four of Cups represents apathy or indifference. This person is so avoidant, it's not even funny. However, they don't want to have you go with anybody else. So what the F? <laughs> What the actual, what is going on here? Could be a Libra, too. For some of you, this could be a Libra. Uh, or an Aquarius or a Gemini. Uh, regardless, it doesn't matter. They get into a real logical mode. They be defensive. So, but they're, 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 they're protecting. They're in protective mode. To share their emotions, my goodness. What a feat that would be. What a feat. Okay. I, I feel like this weekend... The overall message here is this this twin flame or this, you know, the peanut butter to your jelly, whoever your person is, they're definitely going to be reaching out and coming towards you. But it feels like a lot of it stems from a place of ego um, because of an indifference and because um, they're turned on by the fact that you're not at least in their mind, choosing them, okay? Or you are not, like you could care less. I feel like that might be the message that they're interpreting here. You know, Virgo, it's this is crazy. And, and they're sad about it deep down, but they're not going to reveal that, no. So they're pretty much, you know, they're going to talk to you. And they're going to tell you that they're like so into you and, you know, they're going to make change. They want to come see you. Uh, let's get together this weekend. You might get like a text or a phone call from them over the weekend. Uh, how much they're turned on by you. And um, But it's it's mostly because they're, they're heartbroken that you're not choosing them. So, or that they think you're not choosing them. So they're going to be, I feel like they're going to be very defensive when it comes to their internal feelings. So it, the conversation might come across after if you decide to meet up with this person might be like talking about work talking about legal stuff maybe they're a lawyer or they work in the legal system of some sort um but very defensive about sharing the fact that they're heartbroken so i feel like i need to let you know um yes part of their ego their ego is a bit bruised you know um deeply hurt 
because they don't think you want them. Um, and so they are coming from a place like chasing after you so that they don't feel that loss. It is coming from a place of ego. They are going to drop their pride in order to get to you, but they're not going to reveal the deepest feelings, which are these here. They're sad. They feel lost without you. They're grieving. They're mourning. So you need to know that. That's the whole purpose of them coming towards you. Okay. What you do with that is up to you, Virgo. That's all I need to tell you. What you do with that is up to you. Let's take a look at the cosmic insight messages here and see what else Virgo needs to know. What else do you need to know, Virgo? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, moving. Could be a change of residence or moving in with each other. That might be a talk, a conversation, because we do have the Ten of Pentacles here. This is like planting roots. Planting roots somewhere could have something to do with real estate, getting a um, real estate lawyer. That conversation might happen as well, or it could have something to do, like if you moved out, if you changed your residence, they want you to move back in, or um, something to do with real estate. They could work in real estate too, but there's something here about perhaps a conversation about that. Okay, gambling, problems with addiction or gambling, bad finances. <laughs> okay, um, that might be playing a role over this weekend as well. All right, you've got no, it's not the right time. Hmm. What else does Virgo need to know? Yeah, there might be some red flags. There might be some red flags in this situation over the weekend that you're, you might see. Yep. Some of them might be challenges to make a decision about something here in regards to this connection. Whatever's going on here. This is the weirdest message. Hmm. Somebody doesn't trust another person. There might be like a, a sneaky energy. I feel someone might feel like someone is being sneaky or not trusting something. Not trusting someone's intentions not trusting i don't know something's off maybe something feels a little off let's see what your the chinese sign is of you and this person all right remember a short reading on thursday because we are doing the weekend reading here all right year of the rabbit year of the dragon year of the rooster year of the pig you have an ox snake you have a goat and last but not least year of the dog so that could be you or your person these are some interesting messages i'm going to get some messages of love and see what's showing up here what else does virgo need to know in regards to this weekend's message here what's going on oh wait Timing is not quite right. Mm. Okay. Obsession and regret. Wow. So, yeah. This person is a little bit obsessed with you. And has some regret. Maybe for the way they treated you. Okay. Obstacles. That need to be overcome. I feel like with that Ace of Swords. Yeah. That's, this is their intention. Okay. Okay. They think you're their true love. They believe that. All right. Mastery. Soulmate. Ooh. This person's like really crazy about you, Virgo. Trust. It's safe to trust in this situation. Mm. And balance. One person might be giving too much or maybe gave too much. Just pulling back their energy. All right. Pulling back their energy. There might be a need to forgive. Forgive and forget. But somebody might be unavailable. Might be you. Looks like you're una unavailable for this person. You're trying to release something here. <laughs> are, you, are you playing hard to get, Virgo? Are you playing hard to get? 
I have no opinion. You do what you need to do for yourself, Virgo. You playing hard to get, though? What are you doing? What are you doing? This reading is really crazy because I... I just kind of feel like, I don't, I don't really, like, I'm not, all right, they just said, let's look at you. They just said, like, put all this aside and take a look at Virgo. What's, Vir what's going on with Virgo? Because we, we did look at what the energy is of another person here, but let's see, what's going on with, <laughs> Virgo's like, I don't even know what's going on. I'm, I'm busy trying to build my house. I'm trying to hang these pictures right now. Uh, I'm look. I'm busy learning something. I'm doing some research, Virgo. You are indifferent to something here. You're not even like. You're doing some inner work, perhaps doing some learning, some healing. You are not. Uh, you have somebody here in a complete fluster. I don't. Uh, it may not even be that you're in, indifferent to another person. It might just be that you're distracted with something else or other things going on in your life. That you, I mean, in some way, you might not even be thinking about this person as you're listening to this reading or just through this weekend. Hmm. So they think they've lost you. They're not even on your mind, like fully. Virgo, I feel like you're looking at what your purpose is in life. <laughs> I do. I feel like you're trying to figure out like what path you need to be choosing or where you're going or what you want. Like you're seeking clarity on stuff, trying to make a final decision. You're working through some junk. Or you're just going through your junk drawer and trying to organize your house. I don't know. But I, I, I don't really like, you know. I mean, I kind of feel bad for the other person because you're not really even, it looks like, it's hard for me to say because I don't know that you, you might be completely indifferent, but you might just be like, no, I'm not really indifferent. I'm just, I'm just trying to put these paper clips in their proper place this weekend. <laughs> I'm trying to go through my shoe closet. Does anybody have a shoe closet? I would love a shoe closet. I'm just trying to, trying to organize my clothes. I got work this weekend. I'm studying. I've got finals. I've got all this other stuff going on. But look, Virgo, like I'm not gonna get so deep into you. I just feel like your your weekend or just the energy of you is what needs to be done for you. What you need to do for you. You you don't seem to yeah, I guess maybe you're you're just like you might be indifferent to it. For, for whatever reason, I don't know. But that's kind of giving this person, like, some sparks. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Somebody just putting away the computer. You're just like, no, nope, not this weekend. Mm -mm. I gotta mop this floor. I don't have time for socialing. Socialing. <laughs> I make up words. I do. I make up words. I don't have time for socialing with peoples. I'm doing me this weekend. I really, yeah. So you might even get some kind of communication from someone like hey where you been what are you doing what's going on with you how come i don't hear from you how come you're not reaching out why aren't you texting me every day <laughs> why aren't you calling me where have you been what have you been doing <laughs> hello why am i not the center of your universe Gary was like huh what you, what you talking about willis i'm the center of my universe <laughs> And it's not like narky. I don't feel like you're being that way. I just feel like you're... People don't understand Virgo. When Virgo gets to be in their bonnet to do something... I had a friend years ago. He was a total Virgo. This guy was building rocket ships in his garage when we were like 18, 19, 20. And he had like... He was in college. He had already had like a couple degrees. Like he did... He left school early. And he like went to college early. He was so freaking smart and he was so into his stuff. He would he would put like crazy, um, I don't know, like what Bob Lazar did with his little car when he was younger. Like he would put jet engines on his cars. He would go race cars. He was like some kind of crazy sci mad scientist, you know, but he was so much fun and he had the upbeat personality. He would be at all the parties and he was very sociable, always talking to people, but he had tons of money too like he was and i don't recall him ever having a girlfriend i really don't he was so otherworldly 
total pure Virgo guy, total pure Virgo. And he was just so into learning and studying. And he was, um, and I think Virgo women are like this too, maybe more in the creative arts in some ways, but he was just so into his stuff and he would produce the most amazing things. He was known for this stuff. You go over his garage, I swear. He, he would have a party in his garage and just show everybody all of this cool uh, he was in mechanics or all kinds of engineering. He was a really fascinating person. And I don't think I've ever met a Virgo that wasn't a fascinating person in some way. There are some that are just too routine and so routine that they get stuck in routines and then they never get outside the box. Not this guy. He was totally outside of the box. But yet in the box. You know what I mean? And... I've, I kind of am feeling that way about you here. It's not that you are not open to love. You're not. It's not that you're not open to relationships or things like that. You're just really into your stuff this weekend. People don't understand when Virgo gets into their thing, it's like they have blinders on and they get it the F done. They get it done. Every Virgo, they accomplish their goals every single time. They do. And if they don't, it's because they've mastered it and they're done with it and they're on to the next thing, you know? I don't know. To me, that's a true Virgo. But we're all in different places, you know, in the Virgo chart, especially regarding if you're an early Virgo, a middle Virgo, or a late Virgo. A lot of different things play out there, too. But I just get a sense that this weekend, you're doing you. You're doing your thing and you're not. And maybe that's what's given this person this sense of, like, you know, I don't know, a spike, some sparks, turned on, whatever. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. And you have a Scorpio, you have a Cancer, Pisces, and Aquarius. All right. Month of June. June through, all right. So they're saying January could be a Capricorn, could be a Gemini. Okay. Um, August 25th, someone's 55, 1985, 1972, someone's 49, someone's 53, someone's 44, September 8th, September 15th, September 5th, 1989, 64, someone's 32, 1978, September 4th. Okay. Let's get some names here. Oh, that's weird. Shim. Someone's named Shim. <laughs> Shim. Could be a nickname. Shim or Shimmy. Hmm. Somebody's... Okay, I see. Yeah. The tail is wagging. <laughs> Somebody's tongue out tail wagging this weekend over you. <laughs> I gotta write that down. This is gonna be your... <laughs> that's gotta be the caption. Tongue out tail wagon <laughs> oh that is so it's so petty but it's funny i like it funny all right um september 21st okay oh is someone doing the zone diet or is in the zone this weekend someone's in the zone or getting in the zone i don't know what that means but they're giving me zone okay William or Bill, I'm picking up. Oh, Skag, Skags. Somebody name is Skags. Last name, I'm saying Skags. Gina, Gianna, Giovanni. Okay, Cass, Cass, Cassandra, Cassie. Okay, let's see. What are the names? snow are you getting snow somebody's in getting snow all right someone's in the military i'm just hearing that uh cami kamala cami okay cami k-a-m-i cami sam samantha somebody's into ska like ska music oh k-a-o cow is that even a thing Cow. Okay. Uh, Wendy or when when or when? Okay. 
Mm -mm -mm. Okay, someone lives in the northwest. Oh. You know what's interesting? There's no, the letter B, oh, here it is. I was going to say letter B isn't here, and then I just saw it here, and I don't know why, but they're saying, they're giving me the letter B. Someone's name starts with a B, and, and I don't know why they're telling me to tell you that, but it, to tell you it's your reading. If your name starts with a B, with B, the letter B, and also the letter R, someone's name, initial R, starts with an R. And someone has a gnome in their garden. A gnome. Do you have a gnome in your garden? Or a gnome? Or you see a gnome somewhere this weekend? <laughs> like a statue? Hopefully not a real gnome. Although that would be kind of cool. Um, uh, some of you get a... You're going to get a text over the weekend. Or a call that someone says good morning. And they might just say GM. But I hear good morning. And now I'm hearing Asa, the name Asa, A-S-A. -S -A. Somebody's also, okay, they're giving me wig. Somebody's wearing a wig. All right, let's move on to your charms. Not a very short reading, but all right. So you do have a guitar, electric guitar. is significant over the weekend for someone. Could be going to a show, going to see a... a uh, a band, a live band, or going to a concert this weekend, or being in one, or creating music over this weekend. Or seeing, or there's a connection to electric guitar. Also have an umbrella. Okay, so you might be getting some rain this weekend. Not just any rain, but if you do go out, where bring your umbrella. Somebody might have an umbrella, red and white, a red and white umbrella. Oh, cute little butterfly. You see a butterfly this weekend? There might be a connection to a butterfly. And a rose. You might get a rose this weekend. Somebody gives you a rose. Did you guys go on your date yet? Did you have your date with someone? It could be a connection. Somebody's name might be Rose or Rosa. Rosa, Rosalie. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. That was a nice reading. Interesting to say the least. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. If you um, do anything special over the weekend, please leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you think of this reading. Please do put some likes. Give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, just so we can get the reading out. It just really helps the algorithm when you guys hit the like button. It takes one second to hit the like. Let me just see any new members. We have Alina. Welcome to House of Virgo. Super awesome to have you here. If you're a member, you can gift memberships to other people. It chooses it randomly if you're in the sh in the chat. I think you could even, you might even be able to do it in the comments section. If you want to support the channel and support the other Virgos, we're all a big family here. You can absolutely, if you're already a member, gift memberships to other people. That would be awesome if you do that. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I will see you all back here. Remember, Monday evening will be July 1st. I will see you all back here Monday evening for the week ahead reading. All right. Enjoy your weekend. Love ya. Bye.